Hey, shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shemer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Proverbs chapter 27, and I'm going to be reading from verse 23 from the Tree of Life version. It says, Know well the condition of your flocks. Pay attention to your herds. Verse 24, For riches are not forever, nor a crown from generation to generation. You know, I've been to people's houses where they have a lot of material possessions. They have a lot of stuff. And yet, they don't take care of their stuff. They have a lot of tools, but they're laying on the ground, or they're spread all over the garage, or they're just thrown where the last place that they worked, and they're rusted, and, you know, or people have big boy toys, uh, four-wheelers, and scooters, and dirt bikes, and things like this, and they're just left out in the rain without any cover. Um, you know, fishing poles, um, shovels, just whatever. And they're just strewn around the yard. And then they wonder where the tools are when they need them or the, where their possessions are when they need them. And when they find them, they're in horrible shape and horrible condition and they get all upset and they complain. Yet they have no one to blame but themselves because they didn't take care of their stuff. And they wonder why they're always buying new things, or why their stuff is breaking down, or why they can't find their things. And it's no fault but their own. So this passage, uh, you know, flocks meant money. Tools is money. Your possessions represent money, represent wealth, represent income, represent your livelihood. And if you don't take care of your sheep and you're not a good shepherd, you're not going to get work. You're not going to get jobs. You're not going to get paid well for your wool or for, you know, your sheep. People aren't going to trust you to watch theirs. Same thing. People's not going to trust you to watch their house or watch their car or watch their possessions if they need to go somewhere and they need somebody to keep an eye on it. Um, you know, so if you don't take care of your possessions, uh, you're not going to have a livelihood. You're not going to have an income. Uh, and it's really nobody's fault but your own. So our possessions, they're just stuff, granted, but they are... Uh, gifts from God. They're blessings from God. The only reason that we have stuff is because God has blessed us to be able to obtain it and to get it. So not taking care of our stuff is just kind of slapping God in the face and taking his blessings for granted. And we shouldn't take our blessings for granted. We should take care of our possessions and the things we got. God said in his word that, uh, you know, if you're responsible over the little things, he's going to make you responsible over bigger things. He's going to give you more to be responsible for and to take care of. So you want to kind of go up the ladder in, in the kingdom or in, in God's work, uh, take care of your stuff. You know, it doesn't matter if it's uh, something minuscule or piddly. Take care of everything that you got. And if you're responsible for the things that you have, God's going to give you greater things to be responsible for. Uh, and he's going to trust you with more stuff. And when you take care of your stuff, it's going to multiply because you're going to get other stuff. Um so I think this is just a this verse is is applicable in a modern day commentary to taking care of what you got. Um, don't abuse, misuse, or take for granted your possessions, uh, and just don't put them in a place where they're going to get ruined. You know the way we take care of ourselves and the way we take care of our possessions is a commentary on our life as a believer. How serious we are about keeping the commandments and 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 keeping the faith and and how we relate to God and to others. So uh, you know it's kind of a commentary on that. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Come check out the playlist Ponderings of the Pirke of Oat on the Ray Bashkatan YouTube channel, which is a complete video commentary on all the chapters and verses of the Jewish work Ethics of the Fathers from a Messianic perspective.